The other week, I had the pleasure of rewatching Paul Thomas Anderson's Phantom Thread. It was a film that really stuck with me the first time I watched it, and returning to it, I was quickly reminded why. Phantom Thread focuses on the relationship between a fashion designer and a young waitress who he makes his muse and quickly falls in love with. It's a film that perfectly summarizes the challenge of dating an artist, and the need for perfectionism almost every artist holds above their head. But when I was re-watching it, I couldn't help not thinking about one specific thing. This movie, Phantom Thread, is Daniel Day-Lewis's last performance. Ever. He decided to retire after acting in this movie, so my question was, why? Not only why did he retire, but instead, why did he choose this film as his final project? Why Phantom Thread, out of every possible project he could have gone out on? Well, the answer isn't exactly simple, but to understand the answers to these questions, we need to not only look at the film, but also Day-Lewis himself. If Daniel Day-Lewis is known for one thing in the film community, it's his dedication to the art of method acting. In the pursuit of perfecting his performance, Day-Lewis will do almost anything to immerse himself in the worlds of his characters. This includes things like not bathing, isolating himself from friends and family, or even texting in character while filming Lincoln. So when it came to filming Phantom Thread, he needed to immerse himself in the world of fashion design. To do this, he studied under the head of the costume department at the New York City Ballet, eventually building his own pieces from scratch. He went so far as to personally customize the wardrobe of his character, ordering socks from Rome and custom-made shoes from London. On top of all this, Day Lewis found it essential to occupy the world of his character, choosing to live on location where they shot. England is a touchy subject for Lewis. He grew up in England, he felt he was attached to his identity and sought to avoid taking on characters that hit too close to what he was trying to escape from. Day Lewis currently lives in New York, and a large number of his works are deeply rooted American films. For a long time, he only wanted to star in these American works as a form of escapism from what he felt he did not want to define him. However, the idea of post-World War II London was surprisingly intriguing to him. He recalled his parents telling him stories of living through this time period, and Phantom Thread's title character of Reynolds Woodcock reminded him of his father, a celebrated poet. If a poet is not self-absorbed, he said, what else is he? When asked if re-immersing himself in England and playing a character so close to his father had been the reason Woodcock became so overwhelming, he denied those claims. Day-Lewis has wanted to quit acting for a long time. That's been no secret, so this decision didn't exactly come out of the blue. Back in the 1990s, he decided to quit acting and pursue being a shoemaker. It took Martin Scorsese, someone very important to Day-Lewis in the film industry, to bring him back with the rolling gangs of New York. The most interesting thing is, when starting his work on Phantom Thread, he didn't realize that it would be the last movie he'd ever want to make. That fact became more evident as the production of the film progressed. The biggest challenge in finding a definitive answer as to why this film was his last was that Daniel Day-Lewis doesn't even know himself. He can't exactly put his finger on why, but what he does know is that during the production of the film, he slipped into a deep depression that he wasn't able to shake. If I were able to talk to him and make a suggestion as to why, here's what I'd say. I think it has a lot to do with the combination of method acting with a role such as this. A dedicated artist who has become so lost and obsessed in his work he can't focus on anything else. To enter the mind of a character like that is a very dangerous game, and the somber nature surrounding the fixation on the life of someone so codependent and obsessive as Woodcock most likely had him experiencing the sadness of Woodcock himself. And upon trying to exit the mind of his character, it might have been hard not to come to the realization of how similar he and this character were. Both artists with a perfectionist approach toward their craft, enough to take a toll on both their physical and mental health in the process. So if there was truly any note to go out on as an actor, it was a film about himself. And letting go of this way of life was not easy for him. As of right now, Day-Lewis has yet to see Phantom Thread, and he has no plans to. He said that this decision is connected with his decision to retire from acting altogether, and it comes from the same kind of feeling, this overwhelming sadness that has swept over him. If there's a note I'd like to leave you on, it's the nature surrounding one of the last shots in the film. The aftermath of a scene shown earlier in the movie, Woodcock and Alma holding each other tight and slowly dancing with each other as the New Year's party comes to its close. This scene represents something Day-Lewis has wanted for decades and is finally getting the opportunity to pursue. A new start. Do I feel better? Day-Lewis asked. Not yet. I have a great sadness, and that's the right way to feel. How strange it would be if this were just a gleeful step into a brand new life. I've been interested in acting since I was 12 years old, and back then, everything other than the theater, that box of light, was cast in shadow. When I began, 
It was a question of salvation. Now, I want to explore the world in a different way.